Hi guys, today I'll be showing you another awesome app for transferring between your iPhone or iPad and your computer quickly and conveniently. This app is called IO Transfer 3. Here, the app. Currently, this app only supports Windows computers. Hopefully in the future, it will be compatible with Mac computers as well. And you will not believe how useful this app is. So you need to plug in your iPhone or iPad through a cable. And you will be greeted with a home page, which will show you a quick and simple tool to transfer your photos, music, videos, and contacts quickly into your Windows computer. Here, what you can do, photos, music, videos, contacts and you click transfer it will transfer all your photos like mine i have 164 photos i have 78 songs and 58 contacts i don't have any videos if i have i can select that and i click transfer to pc it will transfer to pc quickly and you can also see transfer location apology for the app looking too small on my windows computer because i'm using an app called parallel desktop to install windows operating system on my mac computer like i said earlier this app only support window computer Computer. If you look closely here, so basically there are four locations where you can save. It. You can save the USB trends, the air trends, the download, and the convert. Later in the video, you will understand what these words mean. So with this available feature in front of you, you can only transfer to your Windows computer. If you want to transfer back from your Windows computer to your iOS device like your iPhone or iPad, you have to go to each feature at the top. And as you can see, there are four main features at the top that we will be talking about. We have the manage the clean the videos and the air trends for the last one here tools this one is still under development which means in the future the developer will add some more cool features into this app so we'll start with the first main feature at the top called manage for this feature you can transfer photos music videos ibooks contacts podcasts voice memos back and forth between your windows computer and your ios devices like iphone or ipad and you even have the options here at the bottom called apps for this one basically it allows you to remove any unwanted app on your iphone or ipad quickly okay now let me show you how to transfer files between your ios devices and your windows computer here we'll start with the photos in the camera rolls you can select all of the photos that you have and then you click export select the place where you want let's say i don't select all of them i just only select one let's say this one export i choose desktop click ok done you can click view the photo here's the photo you want to transfer your photo from your computer to your ios device what you have to do is you have to click on album and you click create an album first let's say i put test it click ok here click on that album and then you can import photo from your computer i click here click open we start transferring done now the photo is in my iPhone. By using this way, this photo you cannot delete from your iPhone or iPad. If you want to delete, you have to go back to this app to delete. You have to select here and click delete. It will delete. But there's another way that you can transfer all your photos from your computers directly into camera roll. Where you can delete any photo directly from your phone. This app also provides that tool. I will be talking about that feature later in the video. But let's talk about other features first before we talk about that feature. So let's move on to music. These are the music I have on my iPhone. The same thing, if you want to delete any music, you just tick on it, click delete, click yes. Done. You can also add music into your iPhone. I click import here, find the music. Let's say I choose this one, click open, and start transferring. Done. The same thing with iBook. I don't have any iBook. If you want to transfer iBook, just click import and choose the iBook that you want to transfer. If you take a look at my iBooks app on my iPhone here, I have no book. So let me add some books here into my iPhone. Click open. Let this app transfer the books into my iPhone. Done. Now you can see on my iPhone, the four books pop up. If I open it, it worked perfectly. The same thing with contact. You can transfer all contacts here back into your computer. But to be able to transfer contact, you have to disable the iCloud contact first. To do so, you have to go to settings in your iPhone. And you go to your iCloud setting at the top. Click on iCloud. And you can see the word contact. You have to turn that off. 
After you turn it off, this app will allow you to transfer all the contacts in your iPhone to your computer for future uses. And if you move to podcast, you can do the same. If you have podcasts in your computer, you can transfer into your iPhone by clicking the word import here. Just click import and find the podcast. If you have it, just transfer. Voice memo the same. If you have, you can do that too. For apps, like I said earlier, it gives you the option to remove any unwanted app quickly and conveniently through IO Transfer 3 here. Let's move on to the second feature of this app, which is called Clean here. As its name suggests, with this feature, you can safely and easily clean your iOS device quickly by removing some junk files that you have so that you can free up some storage on your iPhone or iPad. And to clean your iPhone or iPad, just click the word Clean My iPhone here. It will start cleaning by searching for temporary files and junk files on your iPhone or iPad and it shows you how much storage you can save after you delete those junk files. Just wait for it to finish scanning. Done. Now they say recommended to clean 613 files and you can see the details as well. So they have media catch, crash, locks and artwork catch. You can untick any of these or you can just leave it ticked like that. And what you can save after you delete those files, you can save 205.23 megabytes. To clean, you just click clean my iPhone. It will start cleaning and just wait for it to finish cleaning. Done. So you have successfully cleaned 480 files and get 172.48 megabytes back. You just click done here. Okay, let's move on to the next feature in this app, which is called videos here. With this feature, you can download videos from various websites for free, including YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more here. These are more websites that you can also download the videos directly from. You just copy and paste the URL of that video and this app will automatically recognize the link and download the video for you. After the video has been downloaded, you have the option to transfer it into your iPhone or iPad. Here I have this one video I finished downloading. Next to it, you will see your iPhone logo and they say here transfer to your iOS device. If I click on this here, it will start transferring this video into my iPhone or iPad. Just wait for it to transfer. Done. Now I will take a look at my iPhone screen. I go to TV app. I go to library. You can see I have one video here that I just transfer at the moment. You will take a look at the quality of the video. Click play. The group F with the world champions, Germany facing South Korea. You can see the quality of the video is very clear. And another cool feature inside this main video feature here, you can see on this side is a converter. You can also convert the video that you have into different formats. You can convert into MP4, MKV or MLV flash video and some more down here, even the audio format as well. So to convert, you just add file here. You find a place where you have saved your video and then you add to it and then you can start converting. And at the bottom, you also can see they have the option for you to automatically transfer the converted video into your iOS device. And if you wanted to change the location of your converted video, change it there. Let me show you one video that I want to download from YouTube. Just go back to downloader. Let's say I want to download this video. Just copy the link address. Now we go back to the app. We just click Control V here. Or you can just click paste here. It also paste for you. And then again, the option here automatically transfer. If you want to transfer this video directly into your iOS device after you have completed downloading, you can do so as well. You can also change the download location. After you're done, you click download. It will start searching for the video. Once it's found the video, it will start downloading. Now it's start downloading. I want to pause this. That is feature number three. Let's move on to the last feature of this app, which is called Air Trends. Here. With this feature, you can quickly and conveniently transfer photos, videos, music, and other files directly between your iOS devices and your computer wirelessly without using a cable. However, you need to download its app from App Store for your iOS device. Its app is called Air Trends. If you look at my iPhone, let me show you how to download the app. Just go to App Store, go to search, and type in Air trends here the first one I already downloaded it once you download the app for your iPhone you also need to make sure that both your iOS device and your computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi so you have to open this app on your iPhone as well let's take a look at my iPhone screen I have the app here called AdTrends open it 
you click start transfer and from here it will start searching for the iOS device that is currently running air trends app now it detects my iPhone it will auto detect like that if it doesn't auto detect you can also if you take a look at your iPhone on the top left click on it it will say the scan QR you can also scan QR with this one here as well here I can scan QR code now it's connecting to my iPhone just wait for it now it detects my iPhone just click on my iPhone and on my iPhone screen it say allow and refuse just click allow now you're done if you take a look at my iPhone screen you can transfer photos music videos and files back and forth between your iOS devices and your computer wirelessly let's say I want to transfer from my computer to my iPhone I click send to my iPhone here I want to transfer some photos my photos on the desktop let's say I transfer these three click open it start transferring now now it's done if you look at my iPhone screen I go to photos app here you can see the three photos I have just transferred at the moment and because this air transfer here it transfer directly to my camera roll I can delete this photo as well directly on my iPhone you can just delete like that here we go back to this app I can also transfer music again I click here to find music I have it on my desktop let's say I choose this one click open the top left of my iPhone done and for video you can also transfer same thing you click on here send to iPhone choose one video again I have on my desktop click open start transferring now it's done you can also transfer file again you click on send to iPhone I have some files on my desktop you say these four files click open you see on my iPhone there are four new files pop up so you can use your iPhone as your flash drive as well and you can transfer back from your iOS device to your computer let's say I want to select some photos to transfer to my computer select these you can select all by clicking on select all on the top left here let's say I select these eight photos I click send at the bottom it will start sending now it's done you want to see it click open here are the photos you can also transfer your music back from your iPhone to your computer wirelessly. Let's say I select these two songs. I click send. Now it starts sending from my iPhone to my computer. Now it's done. If you want to see the music? Click open. It's here. For the files, let's say you have it on your iPhone already and you want to transfer it back to your computer wirelessly. You click on the files you want to send back to your computer. Click send. Here done, click open, here are the files. You can see how useful this app is because of its four features provided. And if you ask me how much this app costs, if you go to its official website, here is its official website. And if you click buy now, you see that right now it is on a shoot 83% discount, which means if you buy it today, it costs only $29.95. So if you're interested in this app, you should buy it now because you can save a lot of money with this shoot discount. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.